Hello, in this video, I want to share with you a new Google Form update that was just released. Google has made it easier for everyone, especially educators, to access Google Form settings. Users no longer have to click on the three dot menu icon to find settings. Instead, users can simply click on the tab along the top to access the setting tools. If you aren't familiar with the setting tools, we can briefly run through them. So the first one is whether or not we want to make our Google form a quiz. And so most educators like to turn that on. And then we can determine if we want to release grades immediately after the student submits the Google form, or if we want to manually release the grades. I like to choose manually because not all students might be in class that day. Um, I might have makeup students, or I might give the same assessment um, within the same day. You can also turn on locked mode, and basically what this uh, allows teachers to do is we can limit if students can have other tabs or applications open. Um, just keep in mind that when you turn this on, students have to be on a um, managed or school device. Missed questions, we can determine if we want our students to see um, what they got wrong immediately or what was correct. I typically turn these off again because I like to review um, the entire assessment with students at a later date. I always like students to have the ability to see the point value and from here we can set the default uh, point value for each question. You can go into each question and edit them so maybe you have a question that you want to be worth five points or maybe you want a question only to be worth one point. Um, you can edit the individual questions but this is just kind of a blanket setting to make things easier. We can turn on if we want to collect email addresses. Now by default, this is automatically turned on because I selected locked mode. Um, so let's turn that off so you can see um, how that changes a little bit. So here um, I can toggle off if I don't want to collect email addresses. I like to. Um, and then we can turn off um, if we want students to get a copy of their response, which we don't, we want to review later. Um, if you want to allow respondents to edit, in this case it's a quiz, so we want to keep that off. I'm going to restrict um, only Blue Hills Technical School um, to be able to fill out this form. I'm going to limit to one response. Down here, these are some presentation tools, so you can determine if you want to show a progress bar along the bottom. This one is my favorite. I like to shuffle question order. Um, that way, if I'm giving a 10 question assessment, students are gonna get them in a different order. Um, so you don't have to worry about them if they're sitting close to one another, um, et cetera. Confirmation message, this is something that you can change. As you can see, I was already playing with it. Um, so you can edit it. And so I changed mine to say, thank you, Mrs. Albernez, and you can just click save, but you can always um, change it to whatever you want. Show link to submit another response. That's automatically turned off because I limited it to one response. View results summary, I do not want to turn that on because I don't want students to see a summary of the entire Google form. Disable auto, auto save for all respondents. So this is automatically turned off and this is also a new Google feature. So if you are filling out a Google form, automatically if the browser accidentally you know, crashes or um, something happens where a student walks away from their Chromebook and it times out and they open up that form, it automatically saves what they filled in so they don't have to start all over. So if you do not want the form to autosave for a student, you can disable this. Um, I would encourage you to keep it on because sometimes tech issues just happen. So this section defaults, this is something that you can set for all of your forms moving forward. So by default, you could say, I want to collect all email addresses. So next time you open up a Google Form settings, um, it automatically will have this toggled on. And you can also um, make every single question required by default. Um, 
so depending on whether or not that's something that you want to do, um, I'm no longer in the classroom, so I don't want to make all my questions um, a required question, but you might want to if um, you're using Google Forms for mostly assessments. So I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.